So in yesterday class, we are discussing about inventory basics, ma. Yes. So today I am explaining. So how to add cash discount column for invoices? See, we are purchasing and we are selling. On the time of sales, we are giving discounts. No. How? So in uh, see, already we are prepared invoices in Tally Prime. We don't have any discount columns on that, no. Yes, yes, no discount columns. No. Yeah, yeah. I want to add a discount columns for invoices. How okay. to use that one? Okay. So cash discount columns means we are giving some cash discount. So uh, after discount, total amount automatically it want to be display one. Okay. So now how to use cash discount column in Tally Prime? How to activate that one? See, I will share now Tally Prime screen. Now okay. see here. I am opening vouchers now. See, okay. in the vouchers, I am selecting sales. See, under sales, okay. we don't have any. Here, we don't have any uh, discount uh, column. We don't have no. Yes. Now, I want to add a cash discount column for invoice. Ma. Okay. Now, you can go to F11 features. Ma. You can press F11 features. Okay. So, you want to press it, F11 features. In this, see, under inventory, uh, we have here use cash, use discount column in invoices. Ma. Yes, yes. Use discount column in invoices. You can set yes, ma. Okay. Enter, ma. Enter, you okay. can save the screen. Control A. Okay. okay. Now already we have yes, stock items already we have. Ledgers also already we have, no? Yes. Already I am going to now watch it. See, I am preparing okay. one sales invoice, ma. Okay. I'm selling goods too. So this ashy and go. Okay. So dispatch details, we no need to give anything. Party details also we already we have. Now you can select it which item you are selling. I am selling LG double door fridge, two numbers. Ma. Okay. So cost is for example, 25,000. Okay. Now I am giving here 20% discount. Ma. Oh, okay, okay. See, uh, now 50,000 amount we have without a discount. Ma. Okay. After discount amount, enter, you can press it. See, after discount amount, automatically it is coming. No? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, suppose now you can, uh, you want to take print this invoice means. See, in a title bar, it is showing print bar, print option. No? Yes, yes. You can press print option. You can press current button. Ma. See, automatically. Okay. So, this uh, configure, I am clicking ma, here. Okay. Configure, I am clicking. Uh, see, not configure, ma. preview, I am clicking. Ma. Okay. Preview, I am clicking. See, discount color, zoom, I am clicking. Ma. See, neatly it is displaying. Look, what is the yes, quantity yes. we have? So, what is the discount we are giving? What is the amount? Yes. Okay. What is cash discount column? How to use this one? Okay. Now, we can save it. Ma. Okay. Okay. So now next chapter we will go through ma. Okay. So in inventory, our next chapter is actual and build quantity columns ma. Okay. In inventory, so we have one more chapter, different actual and build quantities. Otherwise okay. we are called actual and build quantities ma. Okay. So when we are using this chapter, the need for different actual and build quantities may arise in several instances. For example, if an extra inventory is sent to cover up for any stock that reaches in a damaged condition, or inventory sent as extra samples for the stock is dispatched to the customer as quantity discount. Okay. We are giving any stock quantity discount on the time we are uh, using actual and build quantities. Okay. For example, uh, we are went to any shops, they are giving discounts for us. One get one free, two get yes, one free. Yes. That like they are giving discounts, no? Yes, yes. And that time we are using actual and build quantities. Ma. Okay. Suppose I went to one dress shop, ma. Okay. They are giving discount for us, two get one free, ma. Okay. To get one free. Okay. And that time, our actual stock, we are receiving three numbers. Yes. Billing is two numbers, ma. Yes, yes, yes. You understood now? 
Yes, ma'am. Only on that situations we are using actual and build quantities. Okay. Next to so actually by default we don't have this uh, we don't have this chapter in tally mark. Okay. Suppose do you want to use actual and build quantity columns means we want to activate this future mark. Okay. For example, here I mentioned an example. See, on uh, 3rd uh, March 2010, make a purchase invoice from Parvati Stokers for the following items. Ma. Okay. So what we have, rice actual quantity 100 kgs. Ma. Okay. Billing quantity 90 kgs. Ma. Okay. 10 kgs we are giving discount. Okay. So... Uh, wheat actual quantity 50 kgs, billing quantity 50 numbers. Okay. So in this situation, we are using ma. Okay. So next one, uh, see uh, 10 numbers, so 10 mobiles we are selling to Venkatma. Okay. And that some damage is there. So okay. 10 numbers we are selling to Venkat. For two okay. numbers, two mobiles, some damage condition uh, is there, ma. Okay. And the time that damage pieces I am giving freely. Oh, okay, okay. And that situation also we are using actual and build quantities, ma. Okay, ma. So now how to use this one we want to learn. Okay. So when you are working in your organization, if you want to use this one means you can use it. Otherwise, it's not required, ma. Okay. Now, first of all, how this one we want to activate? Go to F11 okay. feature, ma. Okay, okay. F11, see here. Uh, so, uh, use, see here. Use separate actual and build quantity columns in invoices. You can set yes, ma. Okay. Yes, so now you can save it, control A. Okay. Uh, now you can go to, see, already we are, we have all ledgers already we have. Stock items yes. also already we have, no? Yes, yes. Go to accounting watchers, ma. Okay. So now I am selling goods to so this uh, yeah, Sukuna Motors, ma. Okay. So you can save this screen. You can save this screen also. See now two extra columns it is added, no? Under quantity, yes. actual and build two two columns it is added. Yes, yes. Okay. So when do okay. you want it is possible to activating and deactivating, ma. Okay. Now you can select it which item you are selling and purchasing. Okay. So already rice we are created. Rice I am selecting. 100 okay. kgs. So actually 100 kgs I am selling. Okay. Filling is 90 kgs. Okay. 50 rupees per kg. Okay. Now I am not giving any cash discount. Okay. Now here sales you can select it. Okay. So enter. Okay. So next to one more item I am selecting any other item I am creating one. Okay. Alt C. For example, Dal I am creating. Okay. So this one is cages. So enter. You can save it. Okay. 50 cages. So I am billing for 45 kgs. Okay. So that the all cost is 100 rupees. Okay. Okay. So this okay. like we are creating. Ma. Okay. Okay. That amount also we want to tally. Ledger amount and the quantity also we want to tally. No. Yes. Yes. That purpose we are using. Ma. Okay. For example, see, I am purchasing 100 kgs rice. I am selling 100 kgs rice here. Okay. And billing column also 100 I am mentioned means amount it is not tallying no ma. Yes, yes, yes. So that's why we are using ma. Okay. So you understood this one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma. So what is actual and build quantity column? Why we are using? Okay. Suppose you don't want this column again means you can press F11 configuration ma. Okay. And put no. Ah, you can you can set a no here. You can save okay. the screen. See now it, okay. it is not showing anything here. No. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you understood. 
so yes. next two chapter or next two this and all it is very small chapters and important okay okay next two in inventory next two what chapter you are we have important one okay so in inventory our next chapter name is zero valued entries ma okay what is zero valued entries why we are using okay zero valued entries in vouchers are required when for example you need to dispatch inventory as pre samples or pre replacements oh okay you can make an entry of issue with the required quantity details but enter the value as zero oh okay okay this is done so that the entry is reflected only in the inventory books and not in the accounting books ma okay suppose some inventory items we are dispatching free samples ma okay so on that free samples we are giving to company people on that time we are not collecting any money no yes yes we have only zero value we have yes so we are uh, free sample we are giving free samples for uh, customers means on that time that uh, quantities also we want to record no ma otherwise our stock it is not tallying yes so we are going to marketing on that time so many customers they are asking to give free sample we are checking the quality and all after we are purchasing that like they are asking yes on that time so many so many free samples we are giving but we want to okay. make a sales invoice on the time of free samples also okay for which customers we are gave to free samples otherwise our stock it is not tallying okay so on that purpose we are using zero valued entries ma okay uh, without amount we are creating sales invoices here oh, okay okay so it, uh, we are making any invoices under zero valued entries only it is affecting in inventory books it is not affecting in the accounting books ma because okay, we are not okay. updating any amount no value is zero yes yes for example here i mentioned one uh, uh, one example make a sales invoice and prism fabrications for one number of television platform without value we are giving one number of television platform ma okay without value okay now how to activate this zero valued entries in a tally how to use this one okay now uh, you can go to here tally prime now first of all see i am going to voucher ma suppose okay. i am giving one item freely for kiran technologies ma okay so here what item you are giving you can mention it suppose so 29 inches lg tv free sample i am giving one number ma rate is zero ma okay now enter you see without amount voucher it is not saving actually ma yes it is not accepting no yes so how to use this one how to activate that zero valued entries ma okay so you can go to here alter ma okay under alter you can go to voucher types ma okay under accounting masters voucher types we have you can go here okay now you can select it ma which voucher we are preparing sales or purchase sales i am selecting ma now here what do you want to change means here allow zero value transaction is there no one option yes yes you can set as yes, that one ma okay allow zero value transaction you can set as yes, you can save this screen ma okay now you can go back now already we have so all stock items we have suppose i am creating yes. some stock item ma create okay. stock item suppose i am creating now stand fridge stand ma okay it comes under numbers so i have opening yes. balance so 10 numbers ma 250 rupees per cost okay okay so next to see you can go here now we can go to directly voucher so i am selling now ma okay already we have ledgers we are created stock items also we are created no yes i am selling to kiran technologies okay what item you are selling i am selling to lg double door fridge five numbers ma okay discount i am giving 10% cash discount okay 
stand i am giving freely ma okay okay five numbers of stand it is free ma okay so they are purchasing fridge means stand free one get one free okay okay so now see i am saving this one now it is accepting no okay. see yes yes next to suppose now i am giving free samples from some other company ma okay so for whom you are giving for ravi i am giving free sample ma okay so what item you are giving free sample it is asking so this is single okay. door fridge i am giving free sample ma okay rate is zero now okay now here i am mentioning free sample okay enter now it is accepting no ma yes okay it is accepting now okay okay now you can uh, you understood what is yes. zero valued entries why we are using this one okay now we can go to stock summary you can check once that is stock okay okay so clg so so now we are created stand also no yes see i am going to stand here see actual stock is opening balance 10 we have we sold five remaining five numbers okay. we have okay but stand we don't have any value freely we are gave yes. okay you understood okay me? yes sir next you suppose i am going to here lg double door fridge free sample we are mentioned you know see yes for kiran technologies we are sold one number automatically it is yes. minus with the stock no yes 